Hello, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. So it is time to silk press this hair for the very first time. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So here, my hair is just deep conditioning. You want to make sure that your hair is very moisturized before you apply a lot of heat. So that's what I did was do a nice deep condition on my hair and I washed that out. Now I'm going to proceed to applying some leave-in. This leave-in is by Design Essentials, which I love and I use on all my clients. It is the bamboo and silk leave-in conditioner. I love it. It's really, really good on the hair. Now, if you guys are new to my channel or you just don't know because I haven't been on YouTube a lot, I did big chop my hair um, a little over a year ago. So this is actually my first time straightening my hair. And I just wanted to do it on myself first. And oh my God, when I tell you the struggle, the struggle, okay, of trying to do this shit on your own, like... I see why all my clients come to me for this because y'all the struggle I could not I couldn't do it so I am going back and forth between a comb attachment which I don't really like to be honest I do not use a comb attachment on my clients um, I only use a comb attachment really when I'm blow drying my wigs which I really do that but because this is how I was taught in cosmetology school I'm so used to using like a dimming brush when it comes to blowing out hair like I, I just had a hard time you guys so bear with me nothing against people who use comb attachments like it's nothing against those stylists or whoever does it's just something that I don't use so like you guys can see right here I'm stretching the hair out and then I'm going in with my dimming brush here and I'm just kind of stretching out the ends of my hair so that I can get a nice silky flowy um style here so we are down to the end you guys and this is my first time actually pressing out my hair i did big chop my hair at the end of december 2016 so i kind of just count it as july 2017 so this is the very first time i am seeing my hair completely straightened out i'm going to be applying some silky Essentials, which is by design essentials as well as a heat protectant this stuff is really light but it gives you a nice shine and I love it I use it on all my clients I've been using that since I've been in hair school like I love design essentials the line itself is just really really great for your hair so um the flat iron that I'm using is a chi deep brilliance flat iron I have it set at 400 degrees I'm only doing like one pass and then later on in the video you guys are going to see me like kind of bump it a little bit so that I can have a little bit of body but other than that, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Now here is when I'm going to attempt to trim my ends. Now, I recommend you go to a professional because you can't see shit in the back, okay? You can't, but because I was not going to press my hair out and not trim my ends. Like, I had to do what I had to do, you guys. So, um, I'm literally just doing a really, like, small trim. Just the little bit of ends that I can see. And then, um, that's pretty much it. I went ahead and just bumped it just a little bit. I don't, I, listen, I just threw some curls in in any kind of direction just to get this junk to wrap up i did sit under the dryer for about like maybe 10 minutes and that's pretty much it i'm gonna comb my hair out i was really shocked because y'all i really never had a lot of hair on my head i look at my little hair <laughs> in a long time because my hair was really cut short and relaxed so it was really different so here I am outside so you guys can get a better look at the hair and look how shiny it is. Like the camera ain't doing me no justice in my room. Like I gotta get my lighting together, but that's pretty much it you guys. I will leave all information down in the drop bar for you. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.